Hello SEA, this is Mallory Everett and I'm coming to you today just to talk to you a little bit about our Helping Hands project. This is a fundraiser that we do here at the school every year and I know some of you are new so you may not be familiar with how Helping Hands works. This functions very similarly to a walkathon or a runathon where students ask for sponsorship for the amount of laps they would run around a track. But instead of running around or walking around a track, our students are actually going out into the community to serve the community through service projects. So your students will be filling out forms and asking for sponsorship as they work within the community. If you don't receive the forms for whatever reason, please feel free to contact our front office and we'll make sure to get those forms to you. Now I'd like to take just a quick second and show you how to complete these forms. Um, with your helping hands um, forms that you'll receive, on the front page you will fill out the deer line. So it would be dear grandma and grandpa. At the bottom, we've upgraded the form to make it easier for you. This year, instead of having to handwrite in your student's name, grade, and teacher, we will have labels available for you that you can affix directly onto the form so it will reduce the amount of time you have to write. You will then flip it over and fill out the, um, the address part. It should be the person's first and last name, their complete address, along with the city, state, and zip code. Once you filled out all of the forms, you can return those to the SCA front office and we will mail them for you. Please do not um, put any additional postage. We will take care of the postage for you. For completing these forms, we have incentives and prizes for all of our students. So if your student turns in 10 forms, that's level one. They will receive the level one prizes. Level two, is 25 forms and level three is 40 forms. You can view your prize sheet inside your student's packet for the different prizes available to them. We would love to have a 100% participation for our SCA families, um, but we understand that some of you may not wish to participate. We do have a, a opt-out fee which that means you don't have to fill out any forms, but if you pay $200, your student will be able to take part in all of the prizes that I mentioned earlier. So that may be more, um, more feasible for your family, so please feel free to take part in that if you do not wish to fill out the forms. We want to thank you for partnering with SCA as we help to raise money to improve our campus, but also working with our students so they can go out into the community and serve the Tampa Bay area. Thank you so much, SCA, and have a great day.